Good morning, everyone. This is our morning routine. Coffee first. It's actually very cold outside. I call it cold because it's like 10 degrees or 9 degrees. Yesterday was 9 degrees. I think today is like 12 yeah. or so. So we dislike that. I'm protecting my head with a tuck until the afternoon. In the afternoon, it gets a little bit warmer. So for now, we're gonna keep enjoying our coffee and we're gonna keep working on the other side of the... Oh of the hole <laughs> <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna finish polishing the the hall today and then hopefully install our new decals with the not life logo on it and removing the old ones mary's got almost all of them but one off now yeah i just and gotta do one more and then i'm gonna start sticking the new decals <laughs> okay guys enjoy it and have a good day working on taking these decals off for the last 30 minutes and it's a pain so yeah 30 minutes just doing these two letters uh, the other ones in the back I was able to take them off like within 10 minutes but these ones are a pain I am using this wire brush on a drill to remove surface rust because uh, it's got a lot of it but it comes off nice and easy. I'll do a better job when we're in the water but for now I want it to look a little better than it did. And today we are almost ready to put our stickers on. Yay! polish this last little bit blue stripe here on the top and then I'm gonna tape the sticker on here and see where Mary likes it because without that box there we could go right in the middle field exactly wanted. that's what I was seeing and then just do St. Catherine's down there yep because you'll still be able to read that for the most yep. part but I want you to see it from the ground from so far yeah because we have a great big area here yeah so it would look nice there too and here 
Mm -hmm. But Mary's gonna decide that. Okay, so we've got our name. We're just gonna try to measure it. Well, and I'm just gonna go down there and see how it looks from underneath the boat. We just opened the dinghy while we just flipped it around for the first time. It was very dirty. Mike uh, just soaked it up. And uh, we're gonna clean it up. Pump it up too. Pump it up. And Repair any damage. Because he brought out like a nice kit. There is a nice kit on it. Look at a nice look. So the one that the engine stuff and okay. Okay. Open and super daddy. I hope that goes away. Let's do that air out because there was air in the after that for a long time unless she came here and filled it up. Who? Oh. She did she said that? She didn't say that, I said unless she did that. Mm. No, I think it was like that the whole time.
as you can see our bottom coat is all done only thing left to do now is peel back the tape and when they lift off the boat from these cradles or stands I'll have to touch up the areas that are behind the pads and then we are ready for the water as soon as the yard comes and helps me with this which has been our very first nightmare when we started working here could not get that prop off one of the employees here was able to remove this sleeve about that far which looked like it was almost gonna let go and he backed it back on trying to loosen it up and now it's stuck at that position which you can see is about three sixteenths open about a quarter of an inch uh, that closes all the way up when it's on and if at least if it was all the way on we could get in the water and leave right now and deal with this cutlass bearing which is back here inside of here which is what I've been waiting to replace since we first started working here so he is coming hopefully today because I reminded them that that needs to be off so now hopefully this tape is going to come off nicely and beautifully oh look at that the satisfaction of peeling tape after a job is done not the one long piece because I didn't do too many tears in it I'm gonna finish up doing that and I'll keep you updated on our cutlass bearing situation. Now you can see how lovely she looks. 95% ready for the water.